Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub. This is Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus, and this is episode 29 of our little playthrough here. We just finished upgrading, um, and one thing I'll just note is on the save game, our awakening level is now 101%, which means that we have actually beaten the awakening gauge, so quite happy about that. And I've already decided that we're going to go and do the last post for our level 2 counter from Battle Servitor and increased cognition gauge. Uh, just checking out though. So currently the Catafron Battle Servitor is this guy, 12 HP, 1 energy armor, and a 5 to 10 uh, AoE ranged attack. Pretty nice, not as good as the Castellan robot, but pretty nice. So let's just see how he upgrades. Uh, we're going to be facing Canoptech Spiders, which suck, Vargard, Necron Immortals, Necron Destroyers, and Flayed Ones. And we're trying to cut off the uh, Flayed One supply to flesh in the hopes that that will disable them. Alright. We've still got three tactical slots to un unlock. Yeah, unlock. Wow, words. I don't have to tell you about the conditions of the Tomb of Ubjao, Magos. It's ugly in there. The flayed ones are using biological material, both from the original colonists, Rasak's tech priests, and the troops we're losing in there. I am well aware of the challenges the Tomb of Ubjao presents. I surmise you have requested my presence to do more than merely inform me of them. Very true. In the flayed ones' use of biological material, there may be an opportunity. If they are reliant on it, and if we can cut them off from the supply of it, we could hit them hard. A sound strategy, Subdomina Kepra. One worth pursuing if you can demonstrate a way to put this resource beyond the use of the enemy. I can, Magos. Interesting. I'm presuming we're going to have a lot of fire. Les Kataria have identified a large deposit of biological matter, flesh and skin as far as we can tell. Its only logical origin is the corpses of a Skatari so far lost in the tomb. That's my guess, and even if it's not, is it really something we want to leave festering in the tomb of Ubjao? Your point has merit, Subnomina. My own revulsion must be fully compartmentalized in my new revolts to keep it from compromising my decisions. The flesh repository poses a clear threat to health and morale. The flesh repository? Is that what we're calling it? Think terror, we're going to burn it. <laughs> Yup. <laughs> always burning, always burning. Alright, let's see. Glyph, glyph, glyph. Objective, glyph. Objective, objective. Optional fight. Okay, so this is an interesting one. Because to get to this optional fight, you actually have to make a conscious effort of it. Same with the glyphs. Now, I don't think there are any further items for us to, dis to discover in glyphs. We covered that last episode when we clicked on an item glyph and it gave us nothing. Now, I'm not aware if that means we've tapped out of items completely from glyphs, or if now we just, if that was for the particular mission. However, glyphs are also kind of useful. So what I'm going to do, oh, actually there is a way, there is a way. So hit that one, then go to this empty room, then you can clear out these two glyph rooms, hit that objective, clear that glyph room, hit that objective, clear the optional, then come all the way back and hit that guy. Okay. Alright, here we have, I think that one's health. Yep, that's health. That's um, negative health. And this one is positive CP. Cool, we needed that. Um, let's head to this empty room. We should actually be able to avoid all event rooms by doing this. Okay, we're going to hit these glyph rooms first. Sometimes it's best to leave them, but, you know... I'm not concerned about awakening. Alright, this is a good way for us to test because that one on the left is an item glyph. The one on the right is plus CP. Yep. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, based on that, I'm going to say that we have fully tapped out items from glyphs. Okay, that one is health, I think. Yeah, plus health. That one's negative CP. That one's Blackstone. Clear winner. Alright, I want to come back to this room. Now, our first objective. Yeah, yeah, I know. Extra Necrons in battle isn't such a bad thing, because we get Blackstone for killing them. Okay, we have to scan or destroy that, which means... Aha. Very interestingly, this goes over there. We've got a Kenotek Spider, a Necron Destroyer, Vargard, Immortal, Praetorian, Flayed One, Cryptek. So, that Praetorian. Tauf goes before they do, which is important, but not before that Flayed One. Yeah, so the Destroyer's going to move, then the Spider. Hopefully the Destroyer gets out of range of the Spider's buff. But I would like to sort of prevent anybody getting shot by the destroyer. So Jeremiah there. Minarius should be fine there. Leonardus, I'm gonna actually put him there. Which is a little bit I don't know, I'll put him there, he's fine. Uh, Oriochus can get back a little bit. Put him there, say. So I'll put him down here, that should be fine. And then Tauf is gonna go there. No need to deploy anybody. And let's see what happens. Okay, he can move before he pulses. That's annoying. So does that Vargard have a different weapon than usual? It's been a while since I've seen them, so... Alright. First up, Jeremiah. I'm going to put him here, because I want to get guys over here pretty quickly. And, oh yeah, we can actually shoot that. Do so. Get me ID. Okay. Not amazing. In fact, it's so not amazing. And I'm going to call down the heavy hitter almost immediately. Good. Now, can I buff him? Yes, I can. I'm going to use all the stuff to buff him because we can. <clears throat> He might get a bit hurt by the destroyer, but we'll see if we can uh, somewhat alleviate that. Oh good, we can hit the scarabs as well. That should kill the scarabs. And it's actually killed the spider. Properly too. Well that's really good actually, that's really, really useful. Because now we can move him up. And have him punch it. I don't have ID on him, but it, it looks like we killed him, so that's good. So we'll give him the armor, and we'll have him stay there, because he will need to punch it next round. Oh, that's probably the best of that worked out. Okay, Tauf is going to need to do something somewhat drastic. Okay, that's not great with the um, high energy defense. Because the plan is to stop that from being a thing. Yeah, yeah. Tap him. Actually, do not tap him for cognition. Hit overcharged. 
so that I can see where my shots are going to land. Step over here. Or do we chance it with this? We don't have a noise reductor, but we do have a phosphor serpenta. I can't check anybody's stats with that shit. Okay. We could use the servo skull, but we're going to be using that for cognition. We do want to take out that cryptic. So, uh... This is not going to do a lot of damage, though. What was up here, anyway? Is that an immortal? An immortal and a Vargard. They could be fully resistant to the Torsion Cannon, so we'll just shoot them here. Oh, turns out they swapped anyway. Well, that's fine. Step back in. Poke him with the Mechadendrite. Poke him with the other Mechadendrite. Then pull out the gun. And we're going to shoot the Vargar just to work out what its stats are. Okay, turns out that's fine. And just move him down here. Pick up that Cognition Point. And that'll... have to do him. Yeah, because using the servo skull is a bit of a waste at that point. Um, however, we have set up a really nice attack for Manarius. It won't kill them all. Give me that stat. 21, jeez. Okay. It won't kill them all unless I use the energy or enhancer. Because he may not die from it. So let's use the energy or enhancer. And then... Free for the price of one. Hmm, very nice. I'm actually going to have him move all the way up here and we'll shoot one of these guys. Probably the Immortal, because he's heavily resistant. Like, the uh, Praetorian is heavily resistant. And we've done a minimum damage there, but, you know, fine. Oh, and we have an Infestus Mechadendrite that we can use to tap him out. We'll grab the Cognition from over here. And then try and hide him behind something. Like so. He's gonna... Where is he going? Okay, that's, that's actually pretty good. Leonardus can take care of him. Hmm. <laughs> he damn straight. <laughs> That's fine. We will try and heal him up because, again, this is like the first fight. So we don't want to get too, shall we say, sacrificial. Six to eight. We need to do a little bit more. It might kill him, it might not. Good, it's killed him. So we'll confirm it and then move onto the platform. Jeez, he's got a ton of movement. It's great. Uh, and that. Oop, no, not bless. Distant prayers. On our troop over there. Very nice. Okay, Oriochus on the other hand. We'll get him up here. Have him tap the corpse. Walk him over to here. 
Now again, this isn't going to do a lot of... Um, a lot of damage. But the point is kind of just to... Like, hit, hit him. Even that's... That's definitely not worth it. 5 to 7. What's his actual... Yeah... Not particularly keen. That destroyer is going to get up unless I kill it. I've just realized that. Because he's got two rounds. And actually he might... I think we're on three, but you know what? We're not going to chance it. Um... It is a bit of a waste, but also not really, because we were going to use the Cognition Stabber on that guy anyway. Oh, and the battle won't end when I'm, uh, when I finish shooting them all, because we have to scan a point. Nice. Very nice. And Let's actually take him out, too. And what I'm probably going to think is going to happen is we're probably going to get some uh, flayed ones rocking up once I scan the point. Oh, now. That would also be fine, I guess. He's in a bad position. I don't want to bring in any troops. You can just come over here and shoot that guy. Because we'll have Leonardus make the actual run on the thing. And I mean, the flayed ones, they'll all go out pretty easily. Oh, and uh, Distant Prayers. Our oh, Battle Servitor. Or Battle Robot, whatever it is. The Catafron. Who now has a... Oh, can we? Yeah, I think that counts. Beautiful. But he can't get any further in, which is somewhat annoying. But I will move him like this. Everybody should actually be targeting him now. It's an interesting point. Where is that? This is interesting. He's on an elevated platform, but we can hit him from down here if we so wanted to. But we're just going to hit him from up here anyway, because, you know... It's fun. Um, and then I'm going to move him over to here and see if we can shoot something. Just with the phosphor, no reason to get too hectic. Nice. Oh, and a critical as well. Yeah, because now these guys should try and run past him. And of course, we'll just move Minarius up. Um, yeah, might as well get that little bit of extra cognition. Yep, there we go. So now it's clean up, or if getting to this thing and scanning it ends the mission. Kill all enemies. Don't be complete. I want to actually destroy the thing. Nah, it's complete. A little unfortunate. But, you know, I'd prefer the Blackstone over the uh, Awakening. Because Awakening doesn't matter anymore. Okay. A large quantity of biological material was taken through the chamber. Maybe the start of a route, but it could also mark a route of heavy enemy activity. Uh, do we burn it? 
Scout it or follow it. Scout it. Yeah, good. Got some blackstone. Okay. So now what we do, we're going to go to, because we're pretty good on cognition at this point, and the only thing this can give us is blackstone, because we're full of cognition, we're fully healed. We're going to come down here and do these two fights. We could skip the optional because removing the awakened level isn't really that important to us, but it will give us a fair amount of blackstone from both the end of fight rewards, but also the uh, kills. At the end, like at the end of the mission, we tally up all our kills. Okay, so we've got a Lich Guard and a Crypt Tech right fucking there. Destroyer, Immortal, Flayed One, Immortal, and a Vargard up there near all these lovely scan points which we're still going to try and get to um, so the main issue is that immortal and that destroyer move before us we don't really have a way out of that like we're going to get shot and oh, that lich guard moves like right at the end so that's pretty good where is leonardus because we're going to get leonardus to charge it as soon as he can. Uh, Oriochus, you can go back here with Tauf. And then that would be Minarius? Yep. Alright, let's just see how that goes. We're not going to deploy any specials because I don't want them getting nuked right at the start. Okay, that's alright. He's shooting at Leonardus. As intended. He's also shooting Leonardus. That's fine. <laughs> oh. Okay. So our first bit of business is to get up here and start shooting down at things. Um, that's not a bad angle, but I think we can actually make it better if we take a single step forward. No, okay, try another one. Okay, it won't let us hit that guy. What's that, a flayed one? Yeah. That flayed one isn't moving for a while. I mean, they're all moving pretty soon, including that lich guard. That's a much better shot. Okay, good. Um... One, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay, he can't get to us and he'll move straight past Leonardus. Which is always funny. And we even get to miss Leonardus with a shot too. Oh, turns out we hit a Vargard instead. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Not as fun as if it had gone past Leonardus and all that sort of jazz. But, you know, it's still pretty good. Let's cover Cryptech. We'll just do him some damage. Okay, then I want to move him up to this cognition point. Shank him. Good, he's down. Steal cognition off him. Kill it permanently. And then summon in something. And I mean, it's going to be a Castellan robot. <laughs> like, you know, of course it's going to be a Castellan robot. I'll put him here. Because I don't want to burn that. Yeah. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> Buff the shit out of him too, because that's an immortal. He needs he needs the damage. I'm enjoying this, by the way. This little like dump him on, like dump someone down there. Um, I think. Leonardus can heal himself.
Yes, yeah, sup, bro. <laughs> oh, and a critical too. Very nice. Punch it. Oh, that's beautiful. And you can just sort of stay there for a bit. Alright, Tauf. Tauf, 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 Tauf. You've got a noise reductor. Please use it on these guys. Okay. It's a little problematic, but not too bad. Can you evade them? Yes, you can. You've got overcharged cognition, so that's pretty good. Just shoot this guy for me. Right, right. Seven. That's not as bad as I thought it might be. Ah, uh, yep, grab cognition from me first. Just in case you critical and kill him. Which you didn't do, you did minimum damage. But that's fine because now you can take him out like this. Good stuff. Is there a cognition source somewhere? It's oh yes there is. There's a free point cognition source up there. Very good. Okay. This could You know what, if I hit that, yeah it will hit Leonardus. If I hit that, it won't hit anybody that doesn't need to be hit. So get to that point there. Come on. Good lads. Cryptech out of operation, um, and I am going to burn in some stuff so that we can get around here. I am a little worried about this Lich Guard because um, he's in a bad spot for me, but what I'm going to do is burn a whole bunch of cognition to get all these scan points, and uh, I can't get one of them because he's standing literally... Oh no, I can, because I can go around to the side. So we're just going to sort of make the run through here, grab all these points, and then scarper out the other side. Because it's funny. And I don't really care too much about destroying them, though. If I do get a chance to hit them with a torsion cannon, I absolutely will. Okay, get him around here. He should be out of range down here. Um, and I'm going to pop a refractor field down because of this immortal. And then bless. And then use overcharge. We used every single one of his abilities. This round, like look at that, everything's on cooldown guys. Actually we didn't use everything this round, but everything's on cooldown, so that's fun. Okay. Take out the Thargard first. I mean... Technically we shouldn't, because it's wasting cognition, but I also want it dead. Yeah, I'm wondering if I can get a straight line shot. Through these guys. We'll give it a shot. No pun intended. Okay, we can. Do we hit anything else, which is unfortunate? We can't reach him, so that's fine. Okay, that should be pretty good, so we're gonna pump it. Cool, that'll kill the destroyer. Ah, beautiful. And... I'm gonna shoot for Lich Guard.
I think. Yes. I don't think that's going to cause us any problems. Yeah, because you'll still end up on those stairs. Yep. Okay, that's good. And he can't get to him in one round. Okay, I think that's pretty good. That's fine. Okay, Leonardo's first move is going to be to heal himself, because he got fucked up. Then, I'm going to have him take out the destroyer, and then finish taking out that guy. So actually, taking out the destroyer just needs him to go there. Start tapping away. Yeah, I'll kill it. So now it's just the Lich Guard. Which is fine. Um, I do want to... Oh, no target to heal. Okay. I thought the something had taken damage somewhere. Alright. This is going to be a little bit of self-indulgence. because I want to see this thing spin down. So let's see what the best point to pop an attack is. On that would be great. That'll kill everything. He won't take damage himself. It'll be wonderful. But before we do that, is there anything to collect cognition from? Just that guy, which will kill it. Which is good. Okay, uh, nothing around him to pop that on. Yeah, I just guess we use Cognition Freedom to reduce the expense of this. And then blast away. Oh, that's nice. It's very nice. <laughs> if we cared about Awakening too much, that would actually have been a really cool move. I liked it anyway, so, you know, whatever. I know you do not put much things... Sorry. I know you do not put, mu put much faith in things like intuition, Nagos, but I have a very bad feeling about this. Doesn't his bloody handprints cover the walls of his chamber or made by wounded Skatari, or by the flayed ones with the severed hands of the corpses they have collected? And why? Perhaps a matter warrants further investigation, or perhaps it should be ignored entirely. Decipher? Delve or dismiss. Decipher. Okay, not great. Not great. But you know what? That's fine. Yeah, we are going to fight this optional. Because we got time. And we're kind of back to where we started with the awake level before that amazing. Grav cannon shot. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Uh, this map, okay. Doesn't look like too much. Three immortals and a Praetorian. And probably some flayed ones along the way. Two scan points, yeah, it's pretty... pretty standard. Everything moves before we do. So let's just try and be... A little bit sensible about where we put our dudes. More importantly, the Praetorian moves before we do. Uh, Leonardus, get back into cover a little bit. Okay, let's see how that works. Yeah, everything is going to have a shot. It's not a...
great start. Jesus Christ. It's not a great starting position for us. Luckily, that guy will probably only get shot twice at most. I almost said once, but then I was like, wait, the Praetorian. Okay, good, good. Yep, that's fine. Ugh, we're definitely going to have to have a healing round. He's not going to be able to make a shot. Wow, alright, that sucked. Okay. Oh, luckily they shot Jeremiah, because Jeremiah can actually heal himself up. Like, really quickly. Like so. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We have a Phosphor round into the Immortal up here. Because he's the one who actually shot me the most. <clears throat> okay. Now if I move him down here, first of all we can Cognition this guy. But we can also flame both of them. Lovely, got a critical up there which meant his armor did nothing for him. We'll shank him. Not the best shanking, but now we should be able to kill him. Beautiful. Um, and then, seeing as we can do this, let's call in some reinforcements. Now, the reinforcements in question, these two aren't going to be that good for this particular round of reinforcements. So I'm going to call in a ranger, and I'm going to put him here. And we are still going to buff him. With everything. Good. And I think he's pretty much done. Okay, range is up. So 5 to 7 damage. It won't kill him. Uh, but he's not there to kill him. He's there to sort of move around here and shoot this guy. To get us an ID. Okay, that's pretty good. I was going to say, oh wow, critical. But also, he just gets criticals. That's what he does. Disable his main weapon, and then move him up here. And that should prevent him getting shot. Right, Tauf's turn. Tauf is going to come over to here and get that scan point. He's gonna, we're going to aim him up this way. But first... Okay, good, good, good. I wonder. Just out of range by one fucking point. That's fine. Because now we should be in range. Yep. Perfectly in range, one might say. You see the little pirouette that Tauf just made? That was pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, Cognition Freedom. Or Overcharge Cognition, sorry. I will get him up here to do the scan. And you know what? We might as well just destroy it. Then head around here. Kill. Oh, and a critical as well. Tauf, you're a genius. Um, and you know what? Sure. He had the movement. 
It's not going to do any damage, but he is in base contact with him now, which is important. And his weapon's disabled anyway. Alright. Heal thyself. Hmm. Now this guy is... Excuse me, energy resistant. So we're going to come up here and shoot this guy. I know his weapon's disabled and all that, but, you know. Nice. Very nice, actually. And, I mean, I might as well hit this guy with the uh, plasma culverin. And we might as well pump it. It's not going to kill him, but I don't want it to kill him. Because I still need to scan this. Okay, that's good, and... I will burn the uh, overcharge cognition thingy. Just move him this way a little. Because now it's time for Leonardus. Everybody's favorite running boy. Now. Seven to nine, seven to nine, okay. I think this will be fine. I mean, if it kills him, it kills him. It killed him. That's fine. We just won't get the negative two awakening, because I'm pretty sure that's it. Yep. Alright, good work. Minus three. Oh, everybody gets a little heal, which we didn't need. Awakening is right down. Yeah, not bad. Alright, we'll tackle this glyph room, because I'd rather a glyph room than an event. Mainly because I know what I'm doing with glyph rooms. Event that last objective. And also because you can skip a glyph room if all the options are bad. Alright, I think we might have one of those cases right in front of us here. Negative health. Negative command points. What is that? Ah, that's plus initiative on their side. That's plus awakening. Everything is bad. So we were not we're not going to do that. Like, no. Bad game giving us only bad choices. Alright, last fight of a mission. Scanner destroy this point down here, which is probably... Eh, we're not too far away from it. But, we have a Canoptech spider there. Oh, we've also got a scanner destroy point up there. Okay. Vargard, immortal. Immortal. That's not too bad. Where Vargard goes first, then that immortal, then that immortal, then that spider. So we should try and take out the spider first. I'm going to put Jeremiah there. And Minarius as well. So they can get a little bit of elevation on the field. Leonardus doesn't go until everybody else does, so we'll hide him around the corner a little bit. And Oriochus and Tauf can actually just sort of hide with him. I don't think we're going to deploy anybody. Because i got plans for that. Okay. Get up here and scan it, Jeremiah. Let's see if it spawns something in. It did. Flayed ones. That's really good, actually. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> it's almost exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, move over here now. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, oh we can. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Just a shame that he doesn't buff his own stuff very well. Uh, but let's get 
a reinforcement in before we think about anything. And it's going to be the Castellan robot, and we're going to put it here. Done. And we'll get around to that in a bit. Looks like the Vargard goes first, which sucks. But, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I don't think he can take him out in one hit because he does have 15 HP. So we're going to buff his damage. And his crit rate. Because of course. Okay. Now I want Cognition Freedom. And burn that lot. Oh, that's nice. We still didn't take them out, but you know. And shoot the Canoptech. It's dead. Before it even got a chance to do its little shitty buff move. Ah, it's beautiful. And I'm going to walk him back here. And we're going to tap this for some cognition. And destroy it. Actually, we're just going to use the Plinker. Because he'll be here for more than one round. Great. Yep, as expected. It's actually not too bad. Now we can't move him out of the way, but we can just burn them, which is what I was going to do anyway. <laughs> and now it's dead. It must have had no HP. I uh, move him like so. Punch him. Amazing. And then buff your armor. This is going really well. Already. Okay, Tauf, I need you to step around like such. Just grab all that cognition. Put down a. Yep, get me stats on both of them. Nice. Calf probably isn't the best guy to have, like, charging in. Also, yeah, if we, if we hit him with the grav cannon, we also hit that. But while Tauf isn't the absolute best guy to have charging in, um, I don't really mind. He's going fine. Just shoot him in the back. Yeah, if it doesn't kill him, it ensures that the Cataphract's um, opportunity attack will. I hope we've got enough movement to continue on. We do, that's very nice. We'll move him in here, because that's where I want him to be. Hit him with the shank. And then pop up the old refractor field. That wasn't the refractor field, that was the uh, <laughs> overcharged cognition thing. That's fine, we'll just use it to get this scan point in while we're at it. Maybe spawn in some more flayed ones. Yep. Oh, that's 100% fine, and now we have to escape. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I'm just going to just get down here, because they're aggroed up here, which is wonderful, actually. And grab all the cognition as well. Yep, let's see how we go. Opportunity attack. Yep. Okay, the flayed ones are going to try and make their way up to Jeremiah. And get burned. Okay, Minarius the turn. Do I have a shot on anything? I have a shot on several things. 
Jeez, he's got range. Oof. I wish it is um, plasma beam had a bit more range to it. But you know what? We take what we can get. Now, is that guy still active? I don't think I've got a scan on him, so I can't tell. Well, rectify that. Yep, he's still active, but in a while. Let's try this out. Okay, a little closer. Maybe there. Yep, that's it. Doesn't hit the Cataphract. Or the Cataphron. And we shouldn't need to overcharge it, because these guys usually have shit all for HP. Yep. And we can actually put him in the escape zone. And while we're at it, we'll just kill that guy. <laughs> nice. Yep. Good old opportunity attack. Good thing we put down the refractor field. Okay, well this is Leonardus, who doesn't really have too much to do, so we'll get him to just move around and kill things as we go. And get him to the escape area. The only thing left alive is that immortal. And I'm not terribly worried about it, to tell you the complete truth. Is anybody damaged? Ah, the battle servitor is. Not that one, it's distant prayers, not bless. There we go. Okay. Now Oriochus might take a little bit of time to get there, and we're going to move him around this way so that he can clean up that guy. Or... I can just have him shoot this guy. Nice! Nice and clean. I'll take one step in. Use your little mechadendrite. And up we go. He's home safe. Cool, I don't think we've got any new troops. Uh, no, we're not deploying anybody. Alright, finished tapping that out. Just for my own completionist sake. And we'll run him all the way to the end zone. And then, I wonder if we can just have a... Yeah, we'll just kill that. No reason not to. And can we get a distant prayers? Have we used it recently? Nope, there it is. Sweet. That's his turn done. Uh, the battle servitor has nothing to do. So I'm just gonna put him up here. He can also be in the escape zone. <laughs> not that it matters for him. Alright, this guy... I'm going to have him shank this thing out because I feel like it. Also because that puts us down to zero on the awake level, which even though it's not super important, like it's not relevant to us, I feel like doing it just as a sense of 
doing the best that you can do. Great. The cohort reaches a chamber, its floor covered with dozens of our missing Skatari, most of the corpses missing what little skin they had left, with bones and chunks of flesh filling the rest of the chamber. The whole foul mess is drenched with Promethium fuel and satellite, obliterating this resource and putting it beyond reach of the flayed ones. Thank the Omnissiah, that heap of rot has been put to the flame. The flayed ones should have less material to clothe themselves in now. Perhaps the tomb will even stink less. Additional benefits reaped. The contaminant levels in the tomb of Ubjau are falling already. There are fewer of our dead soldiers' faces being worn by the enemy now. That's got to be a plus in my book. Yeah! Yeah! Really is. No damage. No losses. Very nice. Getting those two Canoptex Spider kills as well. I think we got two of them. Um, and we had them happen really early on in the in each fight, so they didn't continually buff everything. That was really good. Oh yeah, we upgraded the Cataphron Servitor. So let's see how upgraded they are. Okay, I think he had... 12 HP? I think. Um, don't quite remember. But it looks like he's also picked up an additional energy armor, and that now his machine spirit attacks, which I think it takes three charges or three shots for his weapon to get charged, will now deal plus two damage in addition to the usual stuff. Okay. Let's have a look through our dudes here. So, no new equipment. So, I don't really feel like buffing him to get the mechanical for free stuff. Although we could, because that's going to be real useful. Uh, Jeremiah isn't near anything important, so he's fine as he is. And in fact, he's already got a slot ready for him to get the better Mechadendrite. Minarius is... He's got a slot ready for the Noise Reductor, but I also don't think he's... Yeah, he's not in any position to capitalize. Leonardus has tons of slots available because we don't have him using a gun. And he doesn't actually have a refractor field, so that one would also be pointless. Getting him up to getting um, the Enhanced Repair would be nice. But he doesn't need it. And Oriochus here actually does need some more slots. We're not getting him right of range because it's not important. Getting him to have overcharge cognition would be quite nice. Okay, let's just give him a level. And then we're also going to give um, Tauf a level here. Yeah, whatever. Oh, hang on. I wanted that. Now, I don't think we've got enough to give them... We do have enough to give Tauf his next level, but it will mean that we don't have any Blackstone to take into the next level, <laughs> into the next mission. Um, this one would be fine with, so we will actually upgrade Oriochus here. And that should give us about 300 Blackstone. Yep. That's good. That's absolutely fine. Um, do we actually know what the... We're not doing this mission. Uh, we might actually have to say... We'll, we'll check it out next episode. Anyway, let's have a look here. Those are the same. That's the same. Our last tech priest. But they have raves as well as the usual rubbish. And also Cataphron Battle Servitor level 3. That could be very nice. In the Agrilex sector as well, that's an old one. Or we could go for that one. That doesn't seem like it would be a very hard mission. This one kind of does. Alright, so next time... We might do when the stars are wrong. 
or Under Siege. We might do Under Siege because that's um, the name of a great movie, which if you haven't seen it, you should see it. And by great, I mean... It's a Steven Seagal movie, so you know what you're expecting. But yeah, we'll probably do um, Under Siege next time. But, in the meantime, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves. Later.